Last week I released this video where I combined the Buildable Master Chief and the Scorpion Clash set to create a Scorpion style transformer mech. The YouTube algorithm liked it and in general so did you guys but that's where the good news ends because sadly I messed up and you guys knew it and that's because in this video I said this. So all around I've increased its dimensions which would in turn allow me to increase the dimensions of all the other limbs. To increase the dimensions of all the other limbs. 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 You idiot! That's right, after my big speech about increasing the length of all the limbs I then went and completely forgot to increase the length of the arms and boy did you guys let me know about it in the comment section and so there was only one thing to do I had to make things right I owe it to you I owe it to myself but most importantly I owe it to the chief so the first thing to point out is I don't want to change the overall design of either of these arms. I still want to keep the big gun on the right arm and I still want to keep the big shield on the left arm. So it's going to be all about just increasing the size to try and make them look more in scale with the rest of the build. So as you can see, this is the original shield arm, which I decided to work on first. And this is what I've come up with. I extended the upper arm by about three studs and the lower arm by about three studs as well. So in total, this arm is about six studs longer than the original arm. And as I'm sure you can see, it's also much bulkier. I've added an awful lot of parts to this arm. I've also added some additional armor to the outside of the lower arm in the form of that black piece. I completely redesigned the way I attached the shield to the forearm, which has made it much stronger in the build. I also managed to add on this small hand cannon on the top of his forearm, which I just thought was an additional weapon. I want to try and get as many weapons on this thing as I can. He's a tank after all. And then I really fleshed out the shot Shoulder as well. I wanted to make the bulky as I could get it without completely limiting the posability on that ball joint. So I'm definitely much happier with this arm and hopefully you guys are too. But I think to really know you need to see it attached to the rest of the mech. So what we'll do is we'll just pop it onto the mech and it would also give you a clear picture of how much bigger it is than the right arm, which still needs to be worked on. I personally feel like this is the right scale for these mechs now, although looking online and looking at a lot of mechs, because I'm not a huge mech fan, mechs and transformers do seem to have excessively long limbs, like the legs and arms are really long. So you guys may tell me they still need to be longer, but I can always take that on board for the next build. It's a real tricky balance between making the arm look really cool, but still having it so you can actually pose it the way you want to. Otherwise, he just ends up becoming rigid and he can't move on any of the ball joints, which makes them kind of pointless. So that's the left arm sorted, time to make the right arm bigger and better. But it's also worth mentioning that some people had commented that they'd like to see this mech with the standard chief helmet because the helmet that I came up with was 50-50. Some people loved it, some people hated it. And I hadn't even thought to try it with the standard helmet. So before the end of the video, I will also try it with the stock chief helmet on there as well, just to see what that looks like. And also just at an added little bonus, I decided to make a custom shotgun for him as well. And so here it is, the right hand arm, the weapon arm. You'll notice straight away that I've added a lot to this arm. One of the things people commented on was that the weapon on this arm wasn't big enough. Unfortunately, I can't make the cannon any bigger because there's no additional parts to make that cannon bigger. So I decided to add a secondary weapon in the form of a shockwave cannon, which I just thought would be a really cool addition to the side of the main weapon. Once again, I had a huge amount of fun putting all this together. I built up the base of the upper arm almost identically to the left hand arm, just changing the shoulder decor. And when it came to the forearm, obviously a complete unique build. I kept the original cannon and the ammo belt, and then I just added to it from there. So hopefully as far as guns go, this is now big enough. So let's get it attached to the body and see what it looks like. So straight away, I had problems here. There's just not enough friction in the ball joints, unfortunately, to take the weight that is now on the end of this arm. So it looks cool, 
but not overly functional, which is something that I've always got in mind when I'm creating them, these mechs. I ideally want to be able to pose them. Somebody gave an idea on the previous videos that if the ball joints are slightly weak, you can put some tack or something in there just to try and stiffen them up. I did try to do that. And whilst it definitely improved it, it didn't completely resolve it. So I might have to try a couple of different ideas on those ball joints just to be able to increase the friction on them. But once the arm is all on and it's positioned correctly, I'm really pleased with how it looks. I love that massive, ridiculously oversized gun on the end of his arm. That is often the way with Transformers and mechs. They've just got outrageously oversized weapons on their arms. So I'm pleased I went to the extra effort to add that additional weapon on, even if I have compromised a bit of the posability. So all in all, with the two arms on, I feel it's a vast improvement. Hopefully you guys generally think the arms are more scaled to the build now and it's improved the build rather than made it worse. I'm sure you'll let me know either way. Next thing to do on the list for you guys is to show you what it looks like with the uh, stock Chief helmet on instead of the custom helmet that I built. So we'll grab the standard buildable Chief off the shelf, pop his head off and try it on for size. And there you go. I think it looks pretty good. So I think either helmet looks really good with this build. So I could potentially display it whichever way I wanted to. And I think I'll actually just move the camera back as well because I've only really shown you one angle of this mech in the previous video and this video so far. So I'm just gonna raise the camera up a bit because it completely changes the look of the mech as you bring the camera up a little bit. In fact, every time you move the camera to a different angle, it just changes the look of the mech. So hopefully you guys appreciate it seeing it from a few different angles. And the final thing to show you is the custom shotgun I built for him. This was built just using parts from my spares, not from the actual set. And it can potentially be given to any one of the mechs. Obviously it will scale slightly different with the different sizes of mechs. But I just thought it was fun to create some additional weapons. Not sure I'm going to get him to hold it yet. I need to work on that. I'll work on that for a later video. But one way or another, it was fun to build an additional weapon rather than the assault rifle that comes with the set as standard. I was just about to sign the video off when I realised I haven't given you a side-by-side side comparison. What kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't give you a comparison at the end of the video? So here it is. This is the Phase 2 Tank Chief opposite the Phase 1 Tank Chief. I think the results speak for themselves, but I'll let you guys decide in the comments as you always do. And whilst it's spinning around, I'll just address one more question that was quite popular in the comments of the last video. There's a lot of people asking if I can make it actually transform Whilst I'm confident I could make some kind of transformer, I definitely couldn't make one with this kind of detail transform. Generally, if you're going to make it transform, you're going to sacrifice huge amounts of detail for functionality. It might be something I have a go at in the future, but in all honesty, I'm more about the display value of these sets. I like to put the effort in and then be able to pop it up on a shelf and think that looks really cool. When you're building an actual transformer to transform, it's probably gonna look pretty ugly at the end of it and probably not something I wanna keep or have on my shelf. If I do end up doing it, it will be purely to see if it's possible and for you guys to show you how I've done it. But we'll see what happens in the future. And once again, that's just about it. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.